All right, I've got a physical server here with uh, four gigs of physical memory, of which, as you can see, three gigs are available in Task Manager, and it is listening on several TCP ports, IP version 4, as you see them listed here. And I'm going to attack that thing with Soxtress from a virtual machine running Slackware 10.2 on top of a Mac OS 10. And the entire network consists of one cable, point to point between these two. They are not either of them connected to the internet. Make things simple. I have to run ARP poisoning so that it will tell the target machine that every IP address it looks for is to be found at this end of the cable. And here's the attack, which is just sock stress configured to run on all those ports. And let me start that thing, which will be here. All right. And there it goes, putting out a lot of uh, packets, a lot of SYN packets, and forming complete connections. And here it is, already consuming resources on the server. You see the memory ramping up there? It's down to 2.5 gigs available. It used to be 3, 2.4, and it zips right up. Now, I'm planning to cut the tape pretty soon here because this gets a little boring. Um, it's going to chew through the memory here, and then it's going to kill that machine completely which is the effect I'm making this video to capture. But just let me just explain what's going on here. It is sending SYN packets to the server. It is then receiving the SYN acts back, which make it back here because of that ARP poisoning, so this machine can pretend to be a botnet of 126 attackers. However, um, the one important fact is that the total bandwidth of all those attackers is very small. You can look at the Ethernet there and see that right now this thing is running, uh, see if I can get that to focus better. There, this thing is running 19 megabits per second sending and a little 12 megabits per second receiving. So as botnets go, this is nothing. Botnets run up in the gigabits per second range um, for real attacks, but this attack is effective with a very small bandwidth, and that's shared among 126 attackers. And the only reason I need a lot of attacker addresses is to create a lot of connections, because this is a zero-window uh, stress attack. The point is, it does a sin sin ack ack, and when it sends the ack, the window size is set to zero, so it's telling the server, I've completed the handshake, and I'm ready to proceed with the data transfer, but not yet. My Right now I can only accept zero bytes, please wait and send that data to me later, so the server prepares that data in RAM and waits to deliver it later. Later never comes, and it uses up all the RAM. And as you can see, I have used up all the RAM here. So the only thing to do at this point is wait for this. Well, you notice I can barely move the mouse. In fact, there it went. I just tried to move the mouse around, and you see the mouse is sort of frozen as a double arrow in the middle of the screen there I cannot effectively get anything done on this server anymore if I press the logo key on the keyboard to try to get to the Metro desktop nothing happens it's now 718 53 on my other clock but this one is frozen at 717 so this thing is toast if I use logo tab to try to switch between processes, nothing happens. The mouse moves occasionally, but I can't do anything with it. Um, the charms bar has appeared. Well, it was left over from before. But even if I try to shut down the server, I can't even get over there to the charms bar. The mouse won't move. This thing is toast. And that, I think, is where the um, statement comes, which I read in the uh, Wikipedia page about sock stress, which says that this attack can kill servers so they never come back. After this, your only option is a hard power down of the server. And as uh, I know from experience and other people, that if you have cheap hardware and you don't make good backups, 
That can sometimes kill a server so it won't boot up, so some websites, ones run by amateurs anyway, when killed by an attack like this, will be gone forever. And here's what you see at the attacker. It is still sending packets, and it's still getting responses. Um, it's up to 2 million complete connections made. Now, even if I interrupt the attack at this point, with Control-C, it stops. I go back to the server. It's now 7.20, but I'm still dead as a doornail. The clock does not update. The logo key does nothing. This thing is toast. And in the real world, a black hat I've talked to tells me he can kill real servers with this thing. It might take as much as half an hour of traffic, but after that, they're gone forever. Farewell.